Hey internet, my name is Preston. Today I'm gonna show you how to add heat waves in post. Heat waves or heat refraction is caused when hot air meets cold air, which creates a sort of prism effect. The light gets bent, which distorts objects in the distance. Now that you know what heat refraction is, let's make it digitally. Now that we're in After Effects, I have a clip of a hot desert road and we're going to apply some heat refraction to it. Before we create heat distortion, we need to create a composition with the distortion data. Layer, new, solid. We'll call this our noise. Hit OK. Apply the fractal noise effect. Change fractal type to dynamic progressive. Change noise type to spline. Alt click on the stopwatch next to evolution. Type in the expression time star 1000. That's going to make our fractal noise layer animate very quickly, just like how real heat refraction changes very quickly. Select your noise layer, right click, pre-compose, move all attributes, name it noise comp, hit OK. Turn off the visibility to the noise comp and add the distortion map effect to our original clip. In displacement map layer, select noise comp and you'll see that we immediately have an effect. If you notice, we can see some of the distortion on the edges and that's rather unpleasing looking. We can just increase the scale, hit S and just move it up by one or two pixels and that will remove that gross looking wavy lines. You can stop right here and that would be okay, but I'm gonna show you how to add an extra 10% to make it just a little bit more polished. Select your clip and look for the compound blur effect. You'll notice it immediately causes really weird things to happen to our frame. Go to blur layer and select noise comp. Now decrease the maximum blur to where it's only one or two levels. If we go to our noise composition and we increase the contrast and we go back, you'll notice that everywhere in our frame that has a distortion on it, it gets blurry. And obviously this is an exaggeration, so let's tone this down a bit. Let's decrease the contrast and decrease the brightness a little bit. And let's go back to our original clip and let's decrease the maximum blur a little bit. Next, we're going to add refraction to this distortion with a classic RGB split. I have a different video about RGB splitting that goes into greater detail. If you're interested, you can click here. Select your layer, right click, pre-compose, name this clip comp, move all attributes and hit OK. Duplicate it three times select all of your duplicates right click pre-compose name this r g b comp and hit ok go into your composition select all your layers and add the shift channel effect change the label on the top layer to red change the label on the middle layer to green and change the label on the bottom layer to blue this doesn't create any kind of effect, it's just nice to keep organized. When you start getting into individual layers with individual color channels, it starts to get confusing if you don't know what you're looking at. On your top layer, go into your settings and change green to full off and blue to full off. In your middle layer, change red to full off and blue to full off. And in your bottom layer, change red to full off and green to full off. Select all of your clips, go into your blending mode settings and set it to screen. Take your red clip and move it over a couple pixels and take your right clip and move it over a couple pixels. Go into your first composition, go to your track matte settings and set it to the noise comp layer and change this little setting to a sun. And now you'll notice that everywhere that the screen gets blurry, the light gets split, making it look so much more realistic. And that's how to make some very heated effects using the power of After Effects. 
If I taught you something new, let me know down in the comments. If you wanna support me, like, subscribe, and put notifications on so you don't miss an upload like this in the future. And with that out of the way, stay safe, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.